Uh, okay. The Big Ten, the Pac-12, and the ACC famously uh, formed a quote-unquote, I guess, alliance, whatever you want to call it, last year, to where they would vote together against an expanded playoff, among other things. And once we got quotes from conference media days, it kind of looked like they were voting against ESPN getting exclusive uh, negotiating rights to an expanded playoff. Now, right. let's talk about the playoff there. How valuable a property is a 12-team playoff now that we've seen what the Big Ten has done with multiple networks? I think it's extremely important, and I think that's one of the reasons the Big Ten went for multiple networks. You don't want to just have Fox and ESPN bidding on it. Um, you know, the only thing worse than that is just ESPN bidding on it. And that's clearly <laughs> why they didn't open up the deal now, because they, during the term of the agreement, the only one they can talk to is ESPN. And I think Kevin certainly realizes, based on his NFL experience, that you need to have, if you're going to go to a, a 12 or 16 team playoff, you need to have multiple multiple parties at the table for two things. Number one, to get the games on. And number two, to have some sort of bidding competition uh, so that you know one guy is just not pulling all the plugs. Fox has wanted uh, expanded college football playoff for years. And we had the BCS um, in the 2000 mid 2000s yeah, like i think late, it was late 2000s right yeah and yeah. it was kind of for us it was kind of a one and done because you know we wanted a bigger tournament and well, it was a weird situation right because it was it, fox wasn't fully invested into college football at that point no, and yet once you got to the postseason <laughs> they were there right, it, right. It, so yeah. people would have they, to go and look for a, a channel that they were not used to watching it was fox had absolutely nothing and that's why you know it was a, a hard sell job on our part to, to get the conferences to actually accept it. And I, I think the, you know, the relationships we had with the conferences as a result of the collegiate packages that we had for the cable networks was what, you know, they trusted us. So, and then, you know, they liked the money. We paid significantly more than ESPN had the first time around. And I think the conferences want, you know, we're looking for another bidder and there wasn't one other than ABC. So, you know, the fact that we didn't continue with it was unfortunate, but we had hopes that it would continue and that it would, you know, get to a plus one type situation, things like that. And it, you know, it just wasn't there and it didn't appear it was going to be there. So, you know, we just took the ball or took the cash and went home. Then again, you know, so then Fox starts getting involved with the, you know, collegiate football on a serious level. And, and I think the conferences are happy with that. You know, there is only one reason why Fox is doing regular season college football. And that is they want a piece of the playoffs and that's, you know, it's going to be an interesting negotiation and, and the winners are going to be ultimately the conferences and the schools because, you know, there's going to be some some serious bucks thrown around. It's going to look more like an NFL type playoff schedule. And, you know, you probably alternate championship games with a couple, you know, a couple of entities. Um, well, I think it's probably why NBC got involved and why CBS wants to stay involved with, absolutely. you know, having one of these big conferences with you know, big time matchups so that people are used to watching it and that way they can get a piece of the pie whenever whenever it comes back around. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.